test run gets rotated we out. are it's back it's been a while ladies and gentlemen but i'm here once again with john minor c you may know him as johnny creations from various message boards of hello infamous fame and i'm joe bazooka joe and yeah recorded a map match the other day here for the breaker bay cycle latest release cycle and up on our left matt edelman playing hb ETF, not normal HB, I might add, and Aaron on the right playing Kate, which is fairly standard prepaid Kate. Two local players in the Portland area. Yeah, it's, it's good to be back, John. No, oh, it's really great to be back. For those of you who didn't know, Joe took a, a minor uh, hiatus from Netrunner for a little while, but uh, he's back in action, and every, I know everyone here in the Portland community is really excited about that. I wouldn't say it was a complete hiatus. Well, yeah, after Worlds, I got a, ended up picking up a second job, got a baby on the way, so a lot of life changes. <laughs> and if this is my full-time job, I would gladly crank out lots of videos. <laughs> and Aaron, getting some card draw already, puts out a Pro Context and an Astrolabe. Astrolabe really? already doing work for him, too. Well, it's really interesting with the Pro Con rather than the Symmetrical Visage, which is one of the new cards, so I'm not... I'd be curious what his thinking is, or maybe he just didn't care that much to think about yeah, it. Going old school with the Proco. Yeah. I do like the the new Visage card a lot better. It's only two cost, and it's you're only for only the first draw, but typically you're not drawing your entire turn. Well, I'm taking a uh, a cue with Symmetrical Visage from um, Bluebird, who's out here. Uh, you know, you know Kyle, and he just says, "Hey, two in every deck." So that's what I'm doing. I like it too. No influence. Lucky Finds does not have a prepaid set up yet. Installs Clone Chip. And dumps on his other Astrolabe. Well, at this point, even with the tempo hit with Procon, I mean, I think he's fine at this point. <laughs> that was a pretty great opening for uh, Kate right there. Yeah, if you can get out Procon, you want to get it out early, which is what he did. And giving him some more cards. Matt setting up the multiple remotes here. Got his Adonis Byroid going. Now, Aaron hasn't run yet, I believe, so that's a really interesting... I mean, I guess it makes sense because he's setting up, right, with his Procon and everything. Yep. Shaper's going to Shaper, and he's setting up. Diesels for click one, using his fancy Team Covenant click tracker tokens. Go visit them, teamcovenant.com, and order some tokens. <laughs> You're going to get some tokens, aren't you? You're, Joe oh, yeah. is just... just you guys I, like, know. I like Team Covenant tokens. They're, they're probably my favorite of the custom tokens. Making more money for click three. So, HB, you kind of want to work fast before Shaper truly gets set up. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the nice thing is uh, for Matt to see is no prepaids, which means if you if he can start taxing Kate, then um, she'll have a tough time bouncing back without those prepaids out. And I feel Sh Shaper's big nemesis uh, right now is Fast Advance, but Fast Advance is kind of not, I wouldn't say dying out, but you see a lot of more Glacier styles out right now. So Shaper is in a really strong position in the meta right now, in my opinion. Oh uh, yeah, it definitely is. I mean, um, you know, the interesting thing about Clot coming out is, you know, it's the death of fast advance, quote unquote, right? But uh, then it's this game of chicken where, do you now run Astrobiotics because no one runs Clot because no one's expecting it? You know, so it's one of those things like Yogg versus Lotus Field. It'll be interesting to see how that plays out throughout the regional season. For a second click, he does get a prepaid out. And he still hasn't checked anything in his hand. I mean, I, I feel like I'd want to at least pe poke around in his hand, right, to see what kind of things he's running. Checking remote sees a Jackson and pays the trash it, which is the wise thing to do. Always the right call to trash those Jacksons. Oh, yeah. But mm. at the same time, is the fact that Matt doesn't pop it, is that because he has no cards in archives? Yeah, that's why. He just had an Adonis, yeah. Okay. So he's got that's an why. Eve campaign pan out, and it's covered by a single piece of ice. HQ still uncovered and has not checked that out yet. Yeah, I mean, I, that's why I, I always, if they're going to give me free accesses, I at least want to see, I might see a trick card, um, like that upgrade right there on R&D, you know, you see it before he lays it down. Just those kind of nice things to kind of scope out what's going on. And I don't know if I want to spoil the... Oh, don't spoil it. The surprise for Matt's ridiculous deck, but... <laughs> I wouldn't I've say heard it's full on it. janky, but it, it's 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 fun janky. Now most most people won't know Matt. Um, he actually doesn't go on the forums very much, but he is a total jank player, but awesome. I mean, he's been playing Nutrunner for a while. I met him when he first played Total Noob, and he's learned a ton. He's super fun to talk about decks. No, no person in Netrunner is more enthusiastic about Netrunner than Matt Edelman. Brings the one of the dogs out, so installs Lady with four counters on. 
And when, he, when John talks about the forums, he's talking about the Stimhack forums, which if you've never checked it out, it's a great resource for a lot more competitive talk and a lot of analytical threads about Netrunner decks and all that or, good stuff. Or just tro general trolling, which is what I like to do. <sighs> Not as much trolling as, say, BGG. <laughs> then sells no, an no, upgrade no. with his Eve and takes more money. All that money. So he's sitting on 21 credits. The runner sitting on 10, now 11 credits. Just so thinking I, with his pro context. Yeah, he is. So I, so I feel like I can say this because it's, I haven't actually seen this match yet. Joe, Joe obviously has seen this already. Uh, but I know that Matt um, has been playing with the Caprice uh, Director Haas deck. So I'm thinking that's a Caprice Nisei. He's getting that, uh, going to build a scoring remote out to bring out Director Haas in, which will allow him to fast advance uh, agendas. You do see Capri splashed a lot. He's such a good card. It's pretty back breaking. Got it. Taking more money from E. Mm -hmm. So I think he still has yet to run a central okay. server, which again is an interesting choice. But I mean, he, if anyone's set up right now, he is. Gets his mimic house three clone ships. Has a sharpshooter in the trash, so he's got protection for days. Covers up Arcus and takes more money. Yeah, at this point, you just don't even play a destroyer. It's just, it's just a dead draw at this point. The power of Archer, not as good as it used to be. Archer used to be so good back in the day. Oh yeah, I mean Sharpshooter has really found its place recently uh, with the prepaid Kate's deck. Um, it's just such a good card. So we're running R and D. He's got his R RDA out. Makes his first run on Essential. Res is a next goal, the oh. latest piece of next gold ice. That's an interesting first res. Which is gonna bring back sharpshooter, like we just talked about. So making him burn a clone ship. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, it is expensive, costs eight to res. Does not res the upgrade. Is a Christium grid. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought it would be. Is it? So it's interesting he trashed Christian Grid. Like, what is that? Christian Grid's not hurting him at all right now. Uh, it's going to stop him from, you know, his maker's eyes, all that good stuff, which I'm sure he's probably running. <laughs> yeah, I'm just seeing with that RDI out, I, I feel like he needs those, those five bucks. He has nothing right now, right? Like zero dollars? He's, yep, he's got zero, one dollar now. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know. I probably would have left it, but maybe he has some tricks up his sleeve. He wants to get that out of there. That's the one of the bees of prepaid. You can jump back up in money real quick, real fast, quickly. Yeah, fair wants. enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. I'll give you a card. So Thank installs you. a remote, uh, astrolabe triggers, and Matt running his custom HB alt art identity printed out by the beautiful folks over at Run for Games. It's a French form. You should go check it out. They have some really cool art over there. What's that mat that he's rocking? I don't know. It's this weird... He didn't want to run his, his kit... I told him he was going to be on camera. He didn't want to run his kit map. Matt. Matt. <laughs> Matt didn't want to run his kit mat. Yes. Say that five times fast. And he wanted his old school one, which is like some weird pseudo magic -y type mat. Yeah, I feel like it, that's what he played it when he first started. Gets the second pre out. I finally get on camera and I'm playing a jank HB deck I built this morning. Nice. <laughs> Is it going well? And uh, Matt uh, using original tokens, which you don't see too often nowadays. <laughs> yeah, you know, I've been we've had this conversation on previous installments of Cascade Collective. Don't talk about but dice. Don't talk I know. About your dice. I, I always don't talk play about with dice. dice, but no, I've been thinking lately about maybe playing with my original tokens. Ooh. I know, right? Just and he's running me. clear sleeves, like one of the one of the only people in Portland besides me that runs clear sleeves. Well, when you semi-retired, your retirement, Joe, was like Michael Jordan in like 1996, oh, right? Yeah, like you I knew he was coming same. back, but you <laughs> still retired. It's called the second job. Yeah, that was yeah, like you playing baseball. Installs <laughs> another upgrade under Eve, and maybe it takes it back. Well, maybe not. So I don't know if he's running. I mean, with all these upgrades, maybe he doesn't have very much ice, but I'm really, you'd expect, right, in uh, HB... To see more ice than this? You do usually expect, expect to see more ice in HP. Glacier, the Glacier archetype's huge right now. Blue Sun, RP especially, HP, really strong right now. Yeah, I mean, at the very... Another upgrade over R&D, or in R&D. 
So that's interesting. So that telegraphs something that most likely that upgrade is not the same upgrade uh, that he was going to put on the Eve campaign, right? Um, unless he was going to, like, double ash it up. I don't know. It could be either. One thing telegraphs is that he's not really ready to score anything, so he's trying to block up R&D since telegraphing that he does not have any agendas in HQ. Well, he's got to, right? I mean, at this point in the game, he has to have agendas in HQ. Um, he's dumped nothing through Jackson. He just, you know, we... we uh, he let Jackson be trashed earlier. I'm thinking there's got to be some juicy agenda goodness in HQ right now. Maybe he's trying to cover up R&D to throw him off the, the trail. Ah, uh, you know what he's running is he's hoping he goes in there and steals him because he plays punitive a lot. Matt loves punitive out of HB, so he might be trying to set him up for a punitive kill. So, so Dirty Laundry is trashed as Adonis and installs the same old thing. Well, the lovely Byroad Eve continues to pay out. And if you never read the, if you never read any of the Android books or played the Android board game, I love all the little references they put into some of the characters. Eve was a character in, I believe, the Freefall book, and interns for an Adonis. No, well, archive memories, but that was yeah, so archives for Adonis. That was a poor man's uh, interns right there. Um, that's really, I don't know. So, du I, so double upgrades of R and D now. Wow. Have you read I, any of the Android books, John? No, I've actually heard they're really bad, so I haven't I haven't got to read them yet. They're Strange Flesh was eh, but Free Fall and the Android Gollum trilogy. Insults okay. Zool Keymaster. I enjoyed those. Okay. I mean they're they're fairly light reads, entertaining reads. It's not mind-blowing yeah, literature yeah. or anything like that, but hey. Uh, <laughs> well, I actually have I'm, I have some international travel coming up. I'm going to be in Germany uh, next month, if anyone listening to this is in Germany. I know there's a couple guys on uh, Octagon I play with. Um, I'm going to look up and see if they're around, but uh, on that plane ride, I'm going to listen to some audiobooks, so maybe I'll look that up. Well, I'll probably be in France either later this year or being in next year, so it'll be fun to play with those guys at some point. Oh yeah, that, I'm looking forward to it. Just bringing my decks and representing. Tomas Beal, if you're listening out there, I still remember you from Worlds a couple years back. We're going to play <laughs> again. Well, you know what's funny is there's a regional on the weekend. I'm going to be in Germany. I'm going to be in Krefeld. And of course, there is a regional in Germany that day, but it's six hours away. And it's like, I don't think I'm actually going to drive six hours. So installs over the Eve in the new remote. Or in well, I think, the Eve, remote. I think Eve paid out, yeah. Uh, we're busy talking about Germany. Okay. Once again, I, I think he's paid out. Still ensues here, at <laughs> Cascade Collective. Well, they're not and doing we, anything, we, Joe. I don't know what. What are we going to talk about? Like nothing is happening. <laughs> it's being Shaper setting up. <laughs> I bet. SMC. Oh my goodness. Check oh, he's running HQ finally. Checking the HQ finally. Season Eli, which will easily break through with the lady. Uh, he's setting him up for a punitive kill right now. He's got to be. Sees one card. Oh, rolling the dice to randomize that access. Still rolling. What is he rolling? Like roll for the galaxy dice or something? Oh, see the next bronze. See, he has ice in his hand. I don't know. I understand what's going on. And you can't tell me because you already know, Joe. Discards a levy. And scores a beta test. Just hanging out there. I think he does, just installed that. Does not fire it. That was the card he installed last turn. Oh, okay. While we were busy bantering. Oh, okay. So why? I'm wondering why I didn't fire it. So. I'm just trying to figure out this game out. I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> I always fail at beta tests, but he doesn't really have a reason, unless he's got a handful of. I know Matt. Matt no always ice. fires his beta tests, and he can't have unless he has a grip full of ice. Okay. Let's see. So we got a leg work. We got a yeah. leg work going in HQ. He's trying to bait him into it. Let's see five what happens. Cards. I, five bucks. We see a punitive <laughs> right here in <laughs> hand. <laughs> He's playing Yahtzee, basically. Is, what is he doing? Sees a Vitruvius. All right. Two points scored by Matt. Two points scored back by Aaron. Sees the next bronze again. And sees Heimdall, 2.0. Okay. So ridiculous. okay. <laughs> and uh, all the, the volume on there is kind of turned down, but they keep laughing back and forth. This game is so ridiculous. Oh, yeah. I can't hear the audio at all. That's, okay. That's all right, though. So, 2-2. Two to two. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm thinking, it's, Matt. It's, it's, if my like theory's so correct, it's yeah, like soccer. A soccer game. As soon as you <laughs> score, the other team scores within five minutes. Yeah, most exactly. common way to score in a soccer game. 
All right, fair enough. Joe, Joe is a really good soccer player, by the way. Um, so I'm guessing, if my theory is correct, that Matt really wanted to hit a three-pointer in there so he could try to kill him. But that's, again, I can totally wrong. Picks, he's a Heimdall 2.0. Oh, yeah. Oh. And raises that Caprice, too. So he's, he has to break the Heimdall, but then has to play the side game if he just wants to deal with Caprice. Yeah, that's interesting. Oh, maybe just let him kill Caprice. I don't know. So has a pump up Lady, burns through the counters. So Heimdall, a good piece of ice with only your rock and Lady. Ooh, and zero wow. to two. Makes the runner burn two credits. Court burns zero. That's pretty rough betting two as the runner. That's why I usually bet two as the corp first first side game because I feel like runners rarely do that. But maybe uh, I don't know. I feel like there's a meta game with side games. I don't know if that's if you feel the same thing, Joe. But I feel like there is like this meta game going on with side games. So installs under Caprice and takes two credits. And if you talk to Dan, <laughs> I think we were sitting around at Worlds last year and we were just playing stupid side games, just side games, just a side game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We did a side game tournament. <laughs> for a game night kit. <laughs> we did a side game tournament, but you had to get, win the side game to gain access to the side game tournament. Yeah, exactly. So we that actually... all sorts of ridiculous. You know what's so funny about going, this? Aaron's still digging. And you were saying? Oh, I'm just thinking what's funny about this remote is it's... There's two cards, two defensive cards in that remote, assuming that's an agenda, uh, that he just laid face down. And that's pretty impenetrable. I mean, and really rough to go through, at the very least, right? Like, you're either spending three clicks taking a brain damage to play a Psy game, or a whole bunch of other things. And he scavenges Lady back, so he refreshes those counters, and installed a Data Sucker, which I feel like I don't see Data Suckers as much as I used to be. Well, there's a reason. I mean, it's it's a lot easier to shut down Data Sucker tokens than it used to be. So installs into that remote and takes two credits. So two face down cars and Capri sitting in there. Okay, so that's got to be another upgrade. An Ash or something. But actually, Aaron's way richer than I remembered him being. So there's not really a money advantage. I and I guess seeing Capri, I'm, I'm I guess I might be wrong with that punitive call earlier. First two clicks, lucky finds and gains even more money for eight more bucks. That's insane. Ch checking out R&D for click three. <laughs> Sorry, no, checking HQ for click three. Oh, using those lady counters. Starts loading up that data sucker. So it's card three. It is next bronze again. That's the third time you've seen that, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> That's depressing. Uh, that, yeah, that, that definitely is depressing. It's, it, what's weird is that he's not playing it. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> Click four, running R and D. Matt's calculating. He's got two clone chips out. What does he uh, want to res, res here? Looks like eleven credits. Another Heimdall two. Another Heimdall two. Oh my God. Oh, here it is, and the twins. <laughs> oh Jesus. That it, is. It, it is a Caprice twins deck, which. <laughs> 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 okay, so the twins is. Did you already show the, the card up? I don't, I don't remember. But it and the twins is once they pass a piece of ice, you can trash up the same piece of ice from your hand to make them encounter that exact same piece of ice. So he saw three Heimdall twos and has res two of them. So <laughs> trashes wow. the Heimdall two, and now he's gonna encounter it again, which only has one lady token. <laughs> he has two clicks though, right? He can, no, no. No, it's never mind. That's his last click. click. So he's taking one brain damage. <laughs> and it ends the run, I believe, right? No, he broke the end of the run. <laughs> I figured that was oh, okay. Safe, oh, that's right. L uh, Lady Token yep, breaks two right, right, returns. <laughs> Caprice and Twin. Like uh, that's awesome. Well, fun. Some of you may be thinking to yourself, why don't they just run Caprice and Ash for <laughs> the same effect? And you would be right in thinking that. But well, it's a dip. I mean, <laughs> the, the twins is uh, Ash isn't gonna hurt you, right? Like the twins hurts. I mean, I I think he's trying to kill people or at least blow shit up or something, right? I mean, next gold. Well, his his, his ideal plan is to have Caprice and twins in the same server. So if they beat the side game, then you can fire the, off the twins since you have the you get to choose which of your effects take effect. Ah, interesting. 
let's go for it. Boom. <laughs> oh, and he's, he's twinsing next goal, too. So oh, nice wow, you can play it on multiple. Wow. That's awesome. So that's his goal. I'm assuming that's probably another twins in his remote under yeah. the cruise. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. All right. So it is a lot of fun. And, and Aaron just burned through a ton of money. He's trashing the twins. Check his two cards from R&D. Scores in there, Vitruvius. Wow. And pays three more to track to Jackson. So down to one Jackson. Huh? Four credits then. And sees another Christian, which he cannot trash. So did he break through next goal twice? Yes. But he, he broke through it with a data sucker and mimic first, and then clutch oh, it for a right. sharpshooter. And Matt fires back with two points of his own, so we're at four to four. Is he gonna fire the beta test? Come on. He does not. He just dumped two of his ice, he's got a next bronze in hand. I don't think he's I, running a lot of ice in the stack with all yeah, his upgrades. He, he must not be, but this is really interesting. So Matt definitely has a nice window right now, but does not have the money to capitalize like he would want. So Aaron's down to four credits. He's got the same old four. So same old lucky find, so burns you three clicks to lucky find, but jumps back up in money. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's all it takes right there, right? That's fine. <laughs> I'm having them straighten out their agendas for the camera. <laughs> and I can see where getting rid of that Christian grid now would have been would have been nice if you could have even trashed it last turn because you know you could kind of make your eye and run through all that crazy R and D server right now and just try to win. There's got to be more points in in R and D right now. Definitely. So pro context for his last click. <laughs> oh, Matt was very happy about this janky deck. Yeah, it but seems hey, like... As far as I know, I would go as far to say as this is the first time the Twins have been recorded in a live match. Well, I haven't seen them. I mean, I've, I've played against them on Octagon before. I mean, I've, I've been killed by a, a Twins next bronze. Or even a Twins Merlin. Um, you know, that happens. It's always fun to see. But I haven't caught up on all my random Netrunner videos, but I've not seen the Twins. So Scavenger's Lady back, so refreshes his counters. And Matt had installed an upgrade over HQ. Oh, okay, yep, I see that. Oh, there we go, Aaron. Grab those proper counters. <laughs> Don't use the wrong counters for your lady counters. I want um, to He's got one flipped over. I want him to flip it to the right side. <laughs> my OCD is going out of control right now. <laughs> And his oh, Maker's Eye is an RNV, which he knows is a Christium grid under there, so I'm uh, not sure why he did that. Yeah, that was interesting. Maybe he wants him to burn his money? I guess. Yeah, he might. I think it's just a mistake, but it's okay. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's funny. We were just talking about that. Let's see, he looks like an Adonis, and I do not see. Two cards. And he trashes the Christium. So Aaron, low on money again, which is what Matt wants to see, but Corp's still low on money. And Aaron will have a much easier time as prepaid Kate, obviously making money. So you've got to think that the other upgrade is probably the twins. Um, if it is, yeah, if it is Ash, you're not afraid of that either. What I'm thinking is that, you know, up to, you know, the side game is really the only thing that Matt really has, because ultimately... He can't score a three-pointer out of that server with just timed all, because you can just take a brain damage and run through it, right? So, I'm trying to think about how what Matt's winning line is here. It's only one dollar. It's it's not looking good. I'm sending out the twins in the remote. Oh, still is in the remote. It's probably another Chrisium under HQ, I'd imagine. Yeah, it could be, because I think we've only seen one Chrisium, right? Because he brought the other one back and installed it again in R&D. And for you at home listening, if you're wondering if that's Rock Me Like a Hurricane playing in the background, you would be correct. That is Hurricane playing in the background. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the owners, Kirsten, one of the owners of the store, is playing like Journey and Bon Jovi. And this, like, was that right. this was that Cloud Cap, right? <laughs> it was a Cloud Cap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if anyone comes to Portland, Cloud Cap is a super cool store in southeast, like Selwood area of Portland. It's like a home. It's owned by a, a family. And it's, it's one of the coolest stores in Portland, for sure. 
And the, the angle's kind of funky, too. I was trying to record over a round table, which is a little awkward. Oh, okay. I didn't get to get the right, the right angle like I wanted to. Testing out these LED lights, too. I'm liking the LED lights, so trying to get the right exposure for those. Well, I think it looks good. I, I'd love to see, you know, total top-down. Um, it's just hard to get a, an articulated arm out there to get the you right like angle. You like top-down? I don't know. I don't know if I like, I like the full top-down. So Dirty Laundry's into HQ. See his next bronze again. <laughs> oh my god. And, and sees Christian Grid. Why wouldn't he res that? I guess he really wants to keep those three dollars. He didn't want to res yeah, he didn't want to res it, so he trashes it. Yeah. Get some money back from Dirty Laundry. That makes me think that's gotta be an agenda he installed, a three for two he's trying to sneak out. And Dirty Laundry is Coming back in. No, yep, another dirty laundry. Back in uh, HQ. Here? Okay. Right. So he's burn his last lady counter. Maybe he's got to have another scavenger hand or something. I don't know. Yeah. God, I hope it's the next bronze. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> well, Joe, this is not, i got to be honest, it's not the most exciting game I've ever seen. Net it's in the world. classic HB and Shaper matchups. Shaper's yeah. not the most exciting. But Shaper is really tough to play against right now. I mean, Criminal's core still strong. Anarch's still, you know, fairly strong with Max and a lot of the different archetypes. Some random Valencia and Noise decks still popping up. Yeah. I'm still trying to make... I always love playing Wizard in the off season, so I like messing around with that. Oh, yeah. I've been playing a Wizard deck uh, for a while now. That's really fun. I mean, it... It's just not, you know, it's not tier one, but it's really fun to play. With all the Glacier decks out there, Shaper is really good. So he levies now, so we're going <laughs> to do it. Pro Contacts all over again. Do Board that digging. all over again. Oh, my God. It's so crazy. So if you're on the edge of the seat with all that drawing in the first half, <laughs> you'll get it even more now that he's levied. No, I mean, I feel like I, I just threw a couple symmetrical visages in a prepaid Kate deck that, you know, I, you, I have the obligatory prepaid Kate deck that I play on Octagon or whatever, just to kind of know how to play it so you can learn how to play against it. Um, but uh, I, I feel like, I, I guess we can we haven't counted how many times he's clicked Proco more than one time, but I feel like it's been, most of the time he's probably clicked it once, right? At so, least. Like, a couple of times he's done two or three times. He's been digging a lot. Just cycling through his whole deck really before he levied. Yeah. Which is, you know, kind of what you want to do against... Um, I guess he has Proco has instead of uh, um, quality time. I haven't seen a quality time. I have not either. Yeah, he has been running Diesel, but I think I'd be fine with Visage. I like to run a lot, so I'd be fine with Visage and Diesels and maybe quality times. Yeah. Yeah, what do you think about the new um, Shaper Decoder? It's interesting. It's what's it called? It's on, called uh, depending on if you're seeing more or uh, less of, you know, big ice. It's an interesting investment. Somebody did a nice little cost analysis on it. Oh, I'm sure someone mapped it out. You know what I like? Same old thing. I think it's Go called. I, oh, I think it's called Study Guide. Just for people that aren't familiar with it, and it's a paid. It has zero strength paid ability where you spend two credits to boost it by one permanently. Um, and one to break each code. Three costs, one memory. Study guide. It's in the new Breaker Bay pack. Yeah, and th what I was thinking about is it's nice because if they're just running low strength code gates, that's fine. You just keep it at strength two, whatever. You're fine. And then all of a sudden you hit that toll booth. Well, now you, you can. It costs you, but you can bump it up to strength five, and then it's super cheap for the rest of uh, so for the rest of the game. Up, Matt coming up with money restructures. You probably you like playing this here. You'd probably like that in this here. Was um, money that before yeah, you, you know, I yeah, I haven't played Nasir for a couple months. That's 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 a really good point. I feel like Nasir needs to take, be taken a look at again. There's just it's such a unique ability that the, the new tools that we have, and maybe with uh, if there's not as much NBN, um, it might be fun to play. Sure gambles. There there has been a lot of new a lot of fun cards in the latest couple of packs. Uh, even yeah, Anarch came up in the big box. Unfortunately, Waylon. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love Waylon. I know we were talking about this earlier today. Nah, poor little Waylon. They didn't get. I mean, Blue Sun obviously, but that's. Dude, they got the, the twins. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Did you see how good it was this game? I've been messing with Argus Jank for fun. 
<laughs> oh, brings out Atman. You know what's interesting about now? I haven't even thought of this. Like with the twins, it it wouldn't be overpowered if it didn't trash. The fact that it trashes the ice from your hand is pretty rough. So he's putting Atman at strength. One, two, three. Four. Strength four. So gonna drop it down to data sucker. So that was his plan for Eli, because he was just burning through those uh, lady counters. Uh, he's running R&D. That's, yeah, that's also his plan for dealing with that Heimdall right now. So he's two cards. Oh, and that's game. Scores the Wotan off the top of R&D. Yep. Makes sense. It's a fun deck by Matt. Caprice Twins. Um, so he's going to see what he has. Aaron, you know, putting pressure on his prepaid K to duck through his whole deck. He pulled it off. Yeah, good game. We'll switch sides now with some more fun decks. All right, we'll see what's going on here. <laughs> yeah, there was a Twins under that remote. Well, I was really wanting to see a Director Haas. I, I'm, I'm disappointed in you, Matt. I wanted to see Director Haas. Um, so. And Matt was, Matt was showing him his twin setup he was going to go for. <laughs> switch sides. So Matt's on the left running his custom kit art. And Aaron on the right running... Classic NBN making new, so no near near thumb, just regular old NBN. Well, that's kind of what you see a, a lot more these days. I feel like with uh, with Clot and the the rush NBN not as effective. Um, making news can definitely use those two recurring credits. I think. So, so draws and installs installs. But usually when you draw early as Corp can't be the best. Now, for you, now did he, did, did he, did they mulligan or? Aaron did not mulligan. Matt mulligan, which is, which he's doing right now. You can watch him shuffle his cards. So he might just have some combo pieces in hand, but no money, but enough ice to protect early. So yeah, that makes sense. It's kind of what, what I'm thinking. Like there's something in his hand that he wants, right? It's not a bunch of agendas because he doesn't yeah. want those. But there's something in his hand that's not money that he wants. That's kind of what that communicates to, to you. I do you like Aaron's Mega Man sleeves too? Those are fun. Oh yeah, and what this is looks like another <laughs> video game. So Matt draws for click one, second click test run for Opus, and third click scavenges, and fourth click is an Opus. So exactly what you want to see as kid is start your money off early. Oh yeah, I uh, last time I played Matt, we were in like the semifinals or whatever at a at a store championship, and he just giggled, you know, at first turn getting his Magnum Opus out. He he loves that with Kit, and it makes oh, sense. And he is giggling right now. They are both giggling. They've been giggling the entire game. This video, I turned the sound down, but it was cracking me up while I was editing it. Edit, editing it. Well, I, yeah, again, I, I still can't hear them, but I know Matt's giggle, and he's a giggler, that's for sure. So install, install, install. Um, okay, that's not what I expected. I mean, he doesn't have money to res all this shit. I don't it's know gonna, what, what... It's going to cost him a credit, and Aaron's not getting rid of a credit. Uh, didn't he install... In, oh, yeah, he didn't. Yeah, he, he totally cheated. The cheater. Oh, Aaron. And so he's going to go mining. So get some melange going. Which, like another card you don't see as much as you used to. Yeah, that's true. But so, so what does he have protecting that? I mean, it's got to be... Was he just... Well, you see Milan, you see Making News, he just screams at you that they want to kill you right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, and yeah. Matt, wisely sensing that, installs a Plascreet. I'm thinking that's got to be like a pop-up in like a uh, data raven or something. Oh, uh, well, I was thinking of, because he only had five bucks, I was thinking of a wraparound. It could be a data raven, though. Starts mining that moon some more, so Milan is again for his whole turn. So that's what he must have had in his hand. He must have thought, I think I can rush out of Melange and just make a shit ton of money. So that installs Astrolabe. And he takes money. I just want to see these guys go back and forth in Melange and Opus and Terra I, I was going to say, this is yeah. going to be the most, another take seven, super take boring take seven, game. Take eight. <laughs> <laughs> Matt discards Sharpshooter. Oh, man. So Aaron's sitting on stacks right now. Which yeah. Not saying what they're running yet. I mean, installs over R and D. Manhunt. I was so just gonna say that this melange is gonna be pretty safe for a little while, I think, and even more so now. So installs a manhunt current, uh, one of the better currents out there, which on upon the successful run you get traced for a tag. On the first successful run. First successful run. Sanrez is troll. Oh, he is trolling hard. Uh, and you thought we had fun cards in the last game. Now we have Troll. If you're not familiar with Troll, it is a uh, one-cost, three-strength century. 
When the run encounters troll, it's just a trace two. If successful, the runner must lose a click or end the run. And that is it. No subroutines. But yeah, no subroutines. Just the encounter effect. So did he jack out then, or what happened? I there? wasn't paying attention. Well, nothing happened. They were just looking. It's like manhunt should have triggered. There was a trace that happened. I, I don't think he accessed. I think he traced, and then uh, he. Either, I don't think he beat it, and then jacked out and cleared the tag. Hmm. Troll. <laughs> I love awesome. it. I love yeah, it. That's awesome. Yeah, maybe he just lost the click and uh, the jack down instead of taking the manhunt tag. Oh, and you thought we were going to do a boring RP match, huh? Oh, no, we got <laughs> oh, Twins, HB, and Troll, NVN. Yeah, this is way more fun. Especially if they keep clicking for credits. Come on, <laughs> come on Aaron. Melange. So I was going to check out the melange. She's promo pop-up. God, that promo pop-up yeah. is ugly. One of the ugliest cards I guess cards it's, it's kind of grown on me, but... No, it reminds me of Eli, and you know much I hate Eli. Apparently, everyone loves Eli, but it's one of the ugliest cards. The Eli alt art? Yeah, I hate it. Really? You are tripping. Yeah, I Eli think it's super ugly. Um, Adonis is ugly. Adonis and Pop-Up are in my runnings for the ugliest alt art. I Pop-Up wins by far. It used to be Adonis for sure. Uh, but anyway, hey, thank, thank you, FFG. That's an, I think Matt paid for the Pop-Up then jacked out. I don't know why he just didn't I don't not understand. pay it. And I don't understand what's going on. Yeah, Actually, he had no, enough he has, money. He has to pay it. Never mind, I'm thinking. No, you don't have to pay it. You can choose not so to pay the pop-up. He, he goes mining some more. So it looks like he's sitting on 18 credits. Yeah, no, Matt, 22 credits. Matt, when you watch this on Cascade yeah. Collective TV, please message me and tell me why you didn't go trash Melange right there. And another what new piece of ice, Gutenberg. Yes. Out of Breaker Bay. So it is a sentry that has plus three strength while protecting R&D. So two costs. So it's taking a six strength, and it's a trace seven. It's successful. Give the runner one tag. It's a, uh, a sentry, right? Yep. That's a fire. Takes a tag, and then jacks out. <laughs> These little pokes that Matt is doing and never having a successful run are just not helping him at all. Like <laughs> so, Clay's tag for three. He so, hits yeah. a troll, loses a click, hits the pop-up, loses a buck, or let, lets Aaron earn a buck. Hits you the... And yeah. you got to know Aaron's either trying to kill you or do some sort of tag shenanigans. Yeah, it's Which, it's with just all that money, can be pretty scary. Yeah, maybe I wasn't. Maybe the answer why he didn't have a successful run last turn is maybe he was on this last click. He couldn't take the manhunt tag. I don't know, but it seems like you got to get rid of Melange right away. Like right now, just first click run. You have enough money. He's poking around, making a mess of money. So installs into a naked remote. Matt draws for click one. Oh, actually, he did not. Sorry, he astrolabed. Yeah, he astrolabed, exactly. Click one, he's going to check archives. So, Manhunt triggers. So, I'm wondering if he's baiting him into trying to run that, if that's an agenda. He must Tra trace four, so beats that for the tag. Sees <laughs> the ultimate base. Sees two NAPDs. <laughs> <laughs> so the wise thing to do, especially if you know someone's trying to kill you, is not to take those. Sees the close account, sees I believe a snatch and grab in R and D. Yeah, so but Matt has enough money, right? Okay. Yeah, but the corporal and a, and he's, a gonna mid, he's gonna get mid season right away if that happens. It's fine, just steal him. I don't know. You get rid no. of manhunt, at least steal one, you get rid of manhunt, money up. Probably 75% of the time, not seeing any PD is usually the right call. Installs R&D for click two and takes four. I don't know. I think when you have Opus out, though, just take one NAPD, get rid of Manhunt, and then take six bucks. I don't know. It seems good to me. That could work, too. But Matt's, yeah, Aaron said on more credits, so he would definitely get mid-seasoned. Yeah, it's hard to tell how many credits he has. So he installs a naked breaking news, which was a bait. And he's tagged twice, so he's going to close accounts, maybe? No, scorches. So he's going to scorch that Plascrete, get rid of his comfort window. Oh, don't use your Plascrete tokens. Maybe he's got cards in handy wallets. Oh. Yeah, once again, when you get scorched through a plastic, you have the option of using your tokens or getting rid of cards in your hand, or any combo within. And honestly, you want to get rid of those cards unless they're absolutely necessary. 
So Diesel's for a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> Installs another flat screen. No, I, feel really I think he just drew that. I think he oh, did just, just draw it. That's the thing. Is thing. I mean, if he had just clicked to draw to find that. Um, even if you just left two tokens back on Plascrete, then he'd be sitting with six Plascrete tokens, which would be pretty demoralizing. Oh my God. <laughs> so installs a naked server, so Astrolabe should trigger. Installs over Melange. Gains credit. I think Matt missed that Astrolab trigger just because he's playing around with tokens. And that's actually a... A, a big thing in Netrunner, especially when you get to the high-level competitive play, you need to pay attention to what's going on in your turn, their turn, because once it gets down to the grind, people get tired, so many things get missed. People forget Desperado credits, people forget des Data Sucker tokens. Oh, yeah. People, for people forget to take their Sundu or Pad Campaign money. So little little things like that can, you know... What do you do in a tournament if someone is towards the end of the tournament and someone's, like, missing the things that help them? Do you always let them know? Sometimes I don't, but usually I do, but sometimes I'm a bad person. <laughs> I think if everyone said they always, you know. No, I'm asking you, Joe. Someone. I'm not asking, asking you. What, what is? I'm asking you. Um, you know, I'll remind some people, but if it's if it's like a high level match, I'm not really paying attention to if they're taking their stuff or not because I don't really care. I guess yeah. if they take. Well, I mean, I care if they take it or not, but if they don't, I'm like, eh, it's your bet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's kind of like earlier in a tournament. I'll usually be nice, but then I'll be mean. Eventually you get so tired and you're drained that a lot of times you miss it too. Yeah, all you can focus on is your own stuff. Yeah. Okay, so what's happening? <laughs> Matt's doing <laughs> like some nothing. mathing. He's, yeah, the, game math is not, the game is not paused. Matt's doing some <laughs> mathing. The game has grinded to a halt because Matt is doing arithmetic. He's got two remotes and Matt's doing some, Matt's doing some math. Math, Matt. <laughs> Matt, Matt. Yeah. I still think he should have stolen one of those. I mean, think right now, the, if he stole one of those NAPDs, he wouldn't I, be, he wouldn't be dead right man. now, and there would be no manhunt. He'd be, he'd be fighting off tags. That would be a mess right now. Dude, with Opus, you can fight and off you tags. And you, you got to think he's running traffic accidents, too. Right. Yeah, fair so enough. I don't so know. I wouldn't have been two. We got some action here. And okay. brings out the vamp. Opus kit vamp, which you see every now and then, but it hurts sometimes. Mm, interesting. So, Aaron's choosing a res. He... <laughs> 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 Res is another troll. Oh man, double help. troll. <laughs> that is amazing. We'll see if this is a trace out. Take that first one and trace four. To lose trace, trace four. four. Trace four. Yeah. Um, you have to choose to lose a click or end the run. So you lose the click. I don't think you get to choose. I think you have to lose a click, and if you can't lose a click, you end the run. No, you choose. I believe. Oh really? Yeah. Trace seven to lose a click or end the run. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, successful, the runner must lose a click or end the run. So Vampsum, for all his money, has one tag. Yeah, this is the one where it's like, I have two choices. Well, that's one way to do it. He has one click left, so he's going to check out that remote. So, pace of the pop-up. Cannot reset. It's kind of crazy. Oh, manhunt. So he forgot he did have the money for that, so he has to take another tag for that previous run. And scores an Astro. Okay. So nice. wise move, I meant. Well, the math paid off. So he is tagged. Aaron's at a he's at a mid-season range. Does have two tags. Could get traffic accident accidented right now. <laughs> he might run and he might have a traffic accident. That's for sure. I mean, it, that's a zero cost operation, right? So he could even play two or three of them if he has. But it's, it is predicted by Plaskrit though, so not too much yeah. of a worry. And Matt knows it. He's protected right now. Corp can't do anything without any money. Uh, oh, but wow. rest is another melange. <laughs> oh, and that pop-up credit let him res the melange. So wow, good good setup by Aaron there. Yeah, wow. Um, we'll okay, four, but he can just clear tags, tags yeah. right? Yeah. Yep. yep. So he takes four and clear tags. <gasps> Wouldn't you want to leave one tag left and kill the melange? I feel like I leave a tag. I mean, he's not gonna. He can't triple scorch you. Oh, but he's not gonna. He's not going to hit Melange. Okay, interesting. So, so, so now you definitely want to kill that Melange. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's tagless, but only $1, I guess, right? So Does not have to worry about Manhunt anymore. Hello. Yeah, which is nice. And there there are four points sitting in archives. Oh, man. And Bon Jovi just came on. <laughs> 
Maybe I'm glad I can't oh, hear this. Even better. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Maybe you Let's click for four. Maybe you click for four bucks and then run the face down remote. So we're running that for a click one, yeah, and then take six, which I think is a good call. Okay. I'm just thinking that might be a that can't could be, be an astro. It could be C sourced, but. Eh. Yeah, C source would doesn't hurt him right now. And yeah, see, that's what astro. I was thinking. I thought that was that might be an astro. So now the pressure's on, but remember there are four points still sitting in archives. Yeah, that's true, huh? No, nothing. No Jacksons on the table. Nothing out up there, and just takes eight. Man, he's just sitting back. So Matt is now the one up on money. Installs. Advance. Advance. Aaron checking to see if Matt wants to pop stuff on iPhone code for a clot or anything, which is one yeah, of the annoying things you have to do, but I he, doubt he's running clot. Yeah, he doesn't have clot in that deck. <laughs> takes is, that, credit. is that what Aaron was waiting for? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. He's trying to bait out the clot. That's silly. So what is that? I would think that's another. I think that's either. A, well, he's he's saying it's NAPD, right? NAPD or breaking news and trying to set him up for a scorch next turn. Because you could score that with Astro and then just scorch, scorch, and traffic accident. Get that traffic accident, yeah. Yeah, you could. Ooh. Get some another vamp. <laughs> And this will go through unless I mean he could dump all his stuff into uh, troll trace. Troll, right? that's uh, so it's better. Click. Yeah. Trace two to lose a clicker in the run. Trace two. And beats the second trace. And then you have six. six. Vamps him so for six. Good. Takes the tag. So now so if that is an agenda, tag. he can just win. You know how you do. If he has enough to. Yep. Oh, he doesn't have enough money. There's to two clicks left. Third. Right there. So. Pace through ugly pop up window. Oh, I want to know what that. And it is a breaking news. Oh wow, you called it. <laughs> Back at three points. Okay, wait. How many? How, how much money does he have? Can he just win? No, he's like. He's only got five credits. He's three credits short of winning. And he checks out R and D. Interestingly, okay. and this takes it. Run through. Run through. Run through Gutenberg. Takes a tag. Okay. I'll see two cards. Sees two cards. Okay. Two. Sees a pop up and looks yep. like Manhunt, a sweep sweep. Sweep sweep oh, sweep okay. Manhunt, I couldn't tell. Yeah, yeah, it could be. But no Jackson, so. So he can win next turn. Aaron needs the Jackson. Are they talking about that? And like, do they. Do they Aaron's <laughs> thinking. So yeah, he's drawing. He's, he's digging for Jackson. Draws. And does he get it? I see a Beal. He does not get it. Yeah, laying those two. If he really wanted him to spend money on those. The NAPDs. <laughs> Installs over archives. I, I think this is over now. For one, he has one credit and pitches two cards. That's just a pop up. That's got to be just a pop up. Yeah, and the crit call is just Opus and then run archives for the win. Just, yeah. Click Opus for six. Unless it's a. Uh, what's daily connectivity fee? Is that. How much is that to risk? Oh, two. <laughs> uh, he, 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 but he's not, he's not he tagged, though. though. He's not tagged. Yeah, yes, he's got two tags. Oh, he is? Yep. Take six. Oh, okay. Yep. So, opens for six and sees ugly pop up. Yeah. <laughs> and that should be game. Yep. All right. I see. Oh, they keep coming. NAPD. NAPD. Oh, they're what everywhere. The, what the heck? <laughs> what, oh, has, what just happened? Jesus. There's two bills in his hand. So yeah, he pulls it off. The thre impending threat of Scorch. Good games with those gentlemen's fun decks. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Yeah. We will have tons of regionals coverage coming up, so we will be back with video. So you guys, Joe is subscribe. traveling all over the West Coast. He's going to yeah, bring you a lot of good content. Maybe Boise, we'll have Vancouver, Seattle, Portland. So subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you for watching. Thanks for joining me again, John. Oh yeah. And check out the Stimhack boards and the Stimhack website for all your Netrunner related resources. See you guys. And like my new outro, so we're not talking blackness anymore. No, that is good. That's actually really good. Fancy. Fancy. It would always, every other time we talked, it would always just like cut to oh. black. We'd be like, oh. Like, like now. Like uh. now. God damn it. <laughs>